Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. Is it Monday yet? It's Monday. It feels like not. I'm not really ready for Monday yet. Well, it's early. It's like five in the morning. But since it's Monday, that means it's Keto on the Couch Day, and you guys are about to watch that. And we wanted to apologize. Um, we filmed Keto on the Couch at the park. Does my voice sound weird in it? No, but there was a lot of wind, and we didn't know that the audio didn't come out great until we got home. But it was a really good Keto on the Couch, and uh, we did Sorry. have a giveaway in it. So we apologize for like all the wind muffling, and the audio isn't the greatest. Uh, but it is kind of funny, but we also did have to shorten it and take out some of the comments because it was just like inaudible. Sorry, but we had fun. Yep, we had fun and we hope you guys enjoyed this Keto on the Couch. We love you. Bye. I'm proud of you. You're going to do keto on the couch with us. Oh my gosh. Look, he's not even moving. Uh, Get me a gun. That is more alarming. The fact that we don't freak him out. Welcome to Keto on the Couch Park Edition. Iguana Park Edition. Yeah, there are a lot of iguanas out here. We decided we were going to do keto on the couch Too in many. the park and we're getting attacked by iguanas. They're surrounding us. That's why she's grabbing on me for dear life. I love you, but also iguanas. Yeah. Well, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 500 new subscribers since KetoCon. Yes, that's amazing. If you are new to our channel here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we have Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of sit down and talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is Two Crazy ketos.com and that's where we're gonna find all of our different recipes now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it can we get someplace safe please yes let's walk over to like the little pagoda over there so it is a gorgeous day out here in South Florida it is hot which it's is why we're sweating it's like about 90 degrees out and uh, it's nice to be home though from KetoCon. It is, and it's relaxing to be outside and just kind of enjoy some nature. Yeah, except for we're being attacked by iguanas. I know, they're surrounding we'll us. We'll have to put some of this footage in there because they are everywhere. Can I just publicly say that please, Joe, please do not make us eat them. I do not want to come home to dead ones in my freezer. <laughs> Let's go sit down. I am pretty sure I'm sitting in duck poop. I know, well, you're not sitting in duck poop. You're sitting in iguana poop. <laughs> That's like way worse. There's so many. There's like 20. We've seen like 20. There's a lot more than 20. They scurried through the trees and were surrounded by like this little canal thing. And then there's ducks over there too. So. And not friendly ducks. Like the ducks that like are like, give me your bread or I'm going to like take your car. Right. Well, the thing is with the iguanas is they're not native here to Florida and they lay a lot of eggs at once and they don't have any natural predators. No. So there's just Tons They're of multiplying and multiplying and multiplying and multiplying and like again It's absolutely ridiculous to the point where Florida's like if they're in your yard You can kill them go ahead and kill them eat them whatever you want to do with them. Just get rid of them Please I don't, I don't want to eat them. Please don't make us eat them. Well, let's stop talking about iguanas Let's talk about KetoCon. Yes, that was so awesome. Yeah, what so, a great weekend Yeah, we've been home for like since Monday was well, Sunday night. I consider it Monday I feel like I'm still processing the trip. There was so, so much. And the more we unpack like videos from that we taped while we were there, I'm like, wow. I mean, we could have like two more weeks full of footage. Yeah. So we're trying to like really go through stuff and spotlight certain things. We met some cool people. What was like your, what's your best takeaway from KetoCon? Okay, so a couple things. Number one, the community. Okay. The keto community is a beautiful, awesome, friendly community that I have been waiting for my entire life. Just the genuineness, the, the authenticity, the kindness. I'm like, I feel like I found my people. Okay. Number two, I want to honor the hard work that is going to into all of the products 
that are coming into the marketplace for keto. These small businesses, I like I feel like a resurgence of a desire to like just I don't know support these family businesses. It's so exciting to see what is happening in this little space in America, right? right? And then the last thing is I want to stay fit myself. I want to stay on target. I want to do the right thing. I want to make the right choices, not just because I feel good anymore, but because I really genuinely feel like we have an opportunity to to bless others, to help others. And I think that you're not necessarily going to get a foot in a door with somebody if you're not also doing the right things. So I want to do the right things. I want to make the right choices in my own diet so that I can honestly convey to people this works. Right. Give it a shot. Right. You are going to feel better because I want people to live their best life. I want people to get rid of medicines in their life. I want them to be healthy and happy and enjoy their family. And and if if by me staying on target will help them even in the slightest, I want to do that. So what about you? What was your biggest takeaway? I think it's the same thing. It's the community. I mean, it was just amazing to see the community of people, people who don't know each other but have this like common thing. And honestly, the only way I can explain it is it, it was like church. Yeah, it was. Like it was like a church community kind of thing. I mean, the only other place that I've ever felt like that welcome, that much friendliness and people just being willing to talk and hug you is when we go to church. And it's yeah. like just to have everybody so. walk up like, I don't even know you, but I'm going to give you a hug. Like, yeah. it, I mean, it was just amazing. And we didn't even get to see the whole keto con. I mean, we've no. talked about it in the blogs, but we didn't get to go to probably at least 30 or 40 percent of the vendors. No. We didn't see one of the talks. And normally I would think like, wow, I went to this convention and I like didn't get to experience everything. And I went away going like, I was like excited. I didn't care that I didn't see that stuff because yeah. I had so much fun just meeting people and talking to people. We, we would walk up to somebody like, either it was just a regular person who happened to be like there who wasn't an influencer or just, you know, so another, you know, big keto keto person, like even somebody like Keto Savage or even Dr. Barry, where you could just walk up to them and they would have a conversation with you for an hour. Yeah. I mean, it, it just didn't matter. Everybody was just that friendly and I loved it. I mean, I really do feel like we came home with like lifelong friends. So people that keep like are still like calling us and messaging us and I love it. It's been awesome. It's been really good. Okay, so products wise, so we saw a lot of products, some products that we've used for a while mm -hmm. and we found some new products and this is a difficult one for you. I want you to tell me what is the number one product that you found that you'd never heard of before? Like your your best find. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that is hard. Oh my goodness. Cause there were so many, I was thinking about like the star seeds okay. that we found that was like, it was like an Amazon seed. I'd never even known was in existence. And there's like a whole company like sharing them. Yeah. We didn't put a video on that. We're going to put that in a video with a couple of other companies, but certainly the frosting was a, a lovely, like, you know, okay, new, I said one, you got to pick entry one into my life. Pick one. Hmm. I think, and this sounds so basic, but that chamois butter was incredible. And I mean, I've obviously, I've been eating a lot of butter. There's a right. lot of butter in my life. My, my, my life is butter fueled, but that chamois butter was like crazy good. Right. Just simple and elegant. And the thing about that chamois butter is it's evidently been around for a while. I mean, they sell it in all the Sam's Club. So it's not like a keto product, but it was new to us. New to us. And it was just amazing. In fact, we found out that they're doing a road show at one of the Sam's Clubs near our house like next week. And we're we like, shall be going we to We will that. be going because we want a big tub of the Himalayan pink salt one. And he said that you can only get that at the road shows. Isn't that funny? Because you can get the garlic spread easily. Right. Right. You may even be able to get like, the, there was like a truffle one that was like crazy good. And it's like that. Oh, totally easily available, but basic butter? Like, yeah, no, you gotta go to a road show. So we're like, all right, we're there. Right. That's good. Okay, so what was your best find? Oof, you know, like you said, there were so many products. I don't know, see, I'm gonna give you two of them that I had heard about, but I had never tried before. All right, that's okay. So the first one was Peak Yogurt. Yes. That stuff was amazing, and all you people who can live where it's delivered, like, I'm seriously jealous. 
wasn't it funny that like peak yogurt is like chipotle for a long time everybody had been hyping it up and i was like i'm not even gonna taste chipotle because like there's no possible way it could live up to the hype right it totally it did. lived up to the hype like that stuff was so good that i kept sneaking over there to get more and i mean i ended up eating like three containers of it and he all he was really doing was giving out spoon samples but he was like, oh my, we're gonna sit, we're gonna let you guys have a whole thing because we can't deliver it to your house. You were kind of a creepy stalker at that booth. I know, it was so good though. But I'd heard about that, so we can't count that one. The other one that I had heard about, but I'd never tried before, was the F-bomb nut butter. Is that the funnest name ever? That The name is really cool. I mean, the bottom line, come on, their website is dropanfbomb.com. If they are not capitalizing on, like, on apparel, right. using that name, like, what a waste. Yeah, that stuff was amazing, though. I mean, and it's a macadamia nut butter. They're sending us some so that we can do a giveaway. That doesn't and make And they me did sad. give us a coupon if you've ever had it. I know it's available in a lot of stores, like even like some of the CVSs and GNCs. Really? Yeah, but you can, the, the website price is really good. Uh, so they gave us a coupon code. I'll leave it down below. But they have a like meat stick coming out that blows any meat stick that I've had away before. More better than Chomps. Better than Chomps. Better than that other one. It's like eating a fresh made sausage, and it had like we I, they had three different kinds, and I like the jalapeno was my bet my favorite. It had like little chunks of jalapeno in it, but it wasn't super spicy. But Isn't it weird that they're a nut butter company, like pretty much known for being nut butter, but like make a great meat stuff. Yeah, but I mean, even Dan from Keto Ginger's channel, I mean, he was like in love with Dan. this stuff. It was so awesome. So, yeah. but again, I'd heard of that company, so I can't go that. The company I'd never heard of that I was really impressed with was the Super Coffee. Yes, now that was new, you loved that. I really liked it. And I mean, we didn't get any video of it because we didn't get over there until the last day. But I talked to the owner for a little while and so did you. And just what he is doing, he's just blended this stuff together. Like everything that you want with a coffee, taking out all of the good stuff, uh, taking out all the bad stuff and, and leaving in the good stuff. Taking only bad. But like adding in some like amino acids and stuff that allow you to help uh, like use the caffeine more, but eliminate some of the caffeine crash. I mean, if you ever watch Thomas DeLaw talk about all the th different things you should mix when you're drinking coffee to get yeah. the benefits of the coffee and the caffeine, that's what he's done. And it, it was just really awesome stuff. I mean, we got a bag. It was a bit expensive. Yeah, it was. But it's really good. Now, it's not a brewed coffee. You, like, mix it with hot water and stuff. More like it felt like more like an instant Yeah, coffee. but it's it's like a cappuccino almost. Yeah. But that stuff was really good. I liked the way it made me feel when I walked away. Nice to have my coffee working for me because I feel like I'm always working for my coffee. Because right. I, like, love coffee so much. So any disappointments? From KetoCon. There was a few companies there that like, and we're not going to review them because our stance is just like, we want to be positive. We never want to be negative. So right. if there's like something that I don't like, then I'm just going to not like focus on it. Right. I feel like that's the best way to handle that. So there was a couple of companies using like IMO. I found there. a MCT powder yeah. that had IMO fiber and in it. And I was it. like, what, what you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> so, um... That was my only kind of disappointment because there were, and I guess it was exacerbated by the fact that there were so many hardworking quality products that were so good that I almost didn't want that distraction of right. like bad products that maybe somebody might like fall into the hole and accidentally purchase not realizing. Right. But that was it. Other than that, it was awesome. And my thought is I will kind of like do a little Google search and in YouTube all of the um, presentations that we missed. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, don't I'm not regret. sad that I missed any of the presentations yeah. because I enjoyed talking to so many people. That was the best. Did you have any disappointments? Yeah, I had a big one. Uh-oh. Mammoth Creameries left early. So we learned our lesson. If you have an opportunity <laughs> to, to taste ice cream, ice cream do not wait until tomorrow. We were there on Friday. Yep, Mammoth Creamery was, was there, and like I really wanted to try it because it's the one big name keto ice cream that I haven't tried yet. Yep. Everybody says it's really good. We'll try it tomorrow. Yeah, and it's more expensive than the other companies, but and they only have a couple flavors, so I don't really want to order it. No. And so they were there on Friday. I'm like, oh, I'll just get that tomorrow. And on, on Saturday, they were gone. They What's that there. country song? If tomorrow never comes. Well, it never came. Yeah. 
On the bright side, they were directly next to Peak Yogurt. So every time I went over there to see Did Mammoth come back, I got to taste some more Peak Yogurt. You got to like put your little tears and console yourself with Peak Yogurt. Yeah. And then even, I will even say this because we've talked so bad about it, but we flew Spirit Airlines. So going out there, it was a tin can in the sky. Coming back, it felt like it was more of a like a lump crab meat can. Well, right? I'm going like to tell you. A better can. I'm going to tell you. So here's the thing. Comparing the plane going out to the plane coming home. Wow. It was like. You were in a 1970 beater car right. and transferred over to a Rolls Royce. Yes, serious. Now, it wasn't a Rolls Royce type of flight like other planes that we've been on, but going out, we had plastic seats. Literally, like, I'm pretty sure those are outdoor lawn chairs. I mean, it was pretty bad. Coming home, they were nice cloth seats. We even had we're a fold-down tray in front of us because going out, we didn't even have a tray. They were just indoor seats. I felt like they, they was like, luxury! Because, yeah, it were indoor furniture. Both times our flight was early. Like, yes. we landed a half hour Thank early you, both spirit. ways. So I will give them that credit. Yeah. But I will say this, that the um, experience of, like, that you have to pay for carry-on, you yeah. have to pay for everything. Fortunately, we just did a whole package where you got to carry-on and you got to, you know, uh, uh, to pack a bag down below. But they have this 40-pound weight limit, and it was, like, so frustrating because we're coming back. And we brought an extra bag out. We only checked one bag going out yes. because we knew we were going to want to bring home stuff. So we said, we're going to go out with one bag so that we can come home with two completely full. And we panicked and mailed some stuff home. And I'm glad we did. We there did was no way we would have We passed. had a 40 pound limit per bag. And when we got to the airport, because we couldn't weigh them at, at the hotel room, obviously, one of the bags weighed like 33 pounds and the other one weighed like 46 pounds. So we're in the middle of the airport shifting stuff over. What is two pounds? Right, we're trying how to move you, it over. How do you move over three pounds? Like what was- We had to move over like seven that, pounds, but you had to get it right. So we're like doing it and shoes? then run to the scale. Oh, nope, we still got another two pounds in each way. So we get it all done. We get it down to one is like 39.2 pounds and the other one is like 40 pounds exactly. I bring it up, the guy's like, you guys have a bag each, right? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, okay, throw them both on. I'm like, what? And he's like, oh no, it's just combined weight because you have two tickets to together. And I'm like, are we you kidding me? Salt like idiots. I spent 45 minutes on the floor over there in the corner trying to transfer weight so that both bags are under 40 pounds. And I could have had one that weighed 70 pounds and one that weighed 10 and it didn't matter. I felt like we An were idiot. on double dare, like sorting through slime for some kind of nonsense. Like I just, I was trying to assess based on like my vision would it be one shoe and one container of Lancanto syrup? Would that equal two pounds? Like, I, I couldn't was, figure it out. Well, we finally, we had like six bags of Grapau. Grapau! And so I'm like, okay, so I finally figured out each bag weighs a pound, so I can move over three bags in each direction. Which, speaking of which, we met the owners. We're going to give them, we're going to do a video on that this week. We met the owners. Talk about hardworking. Super nice, hardworking people. And There's like they gave two us people working at that the company. The whole company, yeah. But they gave us some bags, three actually, because you have Rosie too. Oh my gosh, she is so beautiful and awesome. But they gave us some bags for a giveaway, so we got to try the new flavors. And we're going to do giveaways, but we're going to, it's going to be three giveaways in one video because he doesn't want one person getting yeah. all three bags. He wants three of you guys to experience this. So we're going to do that, that next week. Does that indicate how sweet he is? Yeah. Like, totally sweet. So before we do comments, let's briefly wrap up this week. This week has been try to get back on schedule. Catch up with work. Uh, food has been every day we've had a keto chow preparing for our keto chow challenge. We really week. haven't eaten that much food because we've just been, like, trying to, like, get a handle on the week right but we've eaten our calories but yeah. it's been like a keto chow which i as much as i say that i don't like to drink my meals you made it a lot easier this cannot week. complain about five tablespoons of butter and with some tasty. protein powder and it tastes really good it and it's really been good. filling and then we've been eating a hamburger or some eggs and stuff like that but to kind of round really out our calories helped us it's yeah. really helped us because we've been too busy we've been so busy between the holiday and everything else and but I didn't feel like, I don't know, I didn't feel like I was, you know, being neglected. Yep. Because it was tasty. So when you're seeing this video though, we will be on day one of the Keto Chow Challenge. And Pray we're for going us, to release on Sunday the video of how the challenge is gonna go. So that you will have already seen that video. But yeah, like Rachel said, pray for us because this this challenge is gonna be difficult, not so much for being hungry, but 
part of it is, which you'll see on the other video, is um, that's all we can have. You can have yeah. a couple cups of coffee. I can have a couple of Zevias, but no extra sweetener. Um, no zip fizz for the whole week. That is foreign Because we don't want to mess with any of that stuff. No snacking for me. So it's like, you know, three drinks and that's it. It's about to get real. Do you want to do comments? Yes, please. Okay, so before we do comments, let's do subscriber of the week. Yay! Uh, subscriber of the week this week, we don't have their story. Mm -hmm. But I have some pictures. I'm going to put their pictures up. And the subscriber of the week this week is Heather and Phil. And Phil has had some amazing, both of them have had some amazing Incredible. weight loss journey. Amazing. Uh, but Heather and Phil actually are the ones who gave us the tickets for KetoCon. Thank you so much for just giving, like, permission to us to just kind of give you a shout out. Like, yes. that's really So we, we've mentioned that somebody gave it to us and, and she finally reached out and said, you guys can use our name. Yay! And they were just awesome you know when we first talked about going to KetoCon, they reached out to us and said hey we have tickets we want to give them to you and we so appreciated it you made so it um, we did get phil a live savage shirt so Yay. if you can see it i don't know what the screen looks like because i can't see the screen which so we got you a heather gray live savage shirt for which phil the quality of these shirts are pretty amazing awesome. and then also so that you can feel like you were at KetoCon. Um, part of the thing at KetoCon, when you went to different booths, they give you different wristbands if you took selfies. So we got you the wristbands as well as a Keto Savage wristband. Yes. So so we are going to send that out to you um, tomorrow morning. Because you were there with us. You were there with us. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to We wouldn't have been able to be there. So like, thank you so much for sending us to KetoCon. Yes. Okay, so let's do our comments. Yes, please. Okay, so we have a lot of comments this week. We pulled them from both Keto on the Couch 16 because we didn't have Keto on the Couch last week. Yeah. And also from our vlog. So we want to get through all of them because we want to recognize everybody. Yes. Okay, so the first one comes from Tracy Robillard. Hi, Tracy. Um, and she wrote, I vote for growing out your hair, Rachel, but you do have a cute face, so it's going to look great either way. Oh my goodness, you are so sweet. Thank you. Uh, Joy Stevens wrote, short Hi, pixie hair. I like your color or, or go natural, gray or not, just embrace it. Oh my goodness, that is bold. I think you should go gray. Oh my gracious. I don't know. Like I started, my heart started to be just thinking about going gray. Susie, Susie Catherine wrote, Hi, Rachel, Susie. I think you were beautiful. That being said, I think your hair is perfect now, although I'd love to see it grown out. Thank you. I especially love to see a bonus video about how you do your skin skincare makeup hair tutorial oh wow well the hair tutorial would be kind of funny because she's never had it twice same the same twice i can't do it that's why i never have them like blow dry it when we're at like hair cuttery because why bother i'm never going to be able to replicate it okay so nancy wrote hi nancy rachel your hair is perfect right now keep mm -hmm. for keto con I well we did ladies <laughs> she said go wild for the summer when you get home surprise us uh, Constance wrote. Hi, Constance. I like the short hair. I'm thinking like a brownish color. Oh, that's good. More like Can't my wait for a vid on KetoCon. Constance, we're supposed to be telling her to keep it long. <laughs> I love Constance so much. Uh, Ten Carb Kim, waiting with alligators. Hi, Absolutely Kim. not. Concrete and chlorine, please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Mindy wrote. Hi, Mindy. Your boob cam comment made me die. I say trim the pack a bit to help with bulk, and I like the color it is. Plus, the heat with growing out your hair, ugh, I say chop it. I've got to call you, Mindy, because you have the cutest hairstyle. Like, I need to go to her, like, stylist because... No, because you're not cutting your hair. She is... I like it long. Adorable. I like it long. It's very full. Bambi wrote... Hi, Bambi. I think Auburn would be a nice color for Rachel. Oh, thank you. She said, can't decide about the length. I like the way you've been wearing it. Aw. Well, I took... The majority's advice, and I did not cut my hair before KetoCon. They were like, don't cut your hair before a major event. Like, you don't cut your hair when you're, like, having your period. Don't have your cut your hair right after you have a baby. I've done all of those things, P.S., in the past. So I took the sage wisdom advice of these ladies, and I didn't cut my hair. I did dye it purple. It didn't come out purple, It's though. not purple. It's pretty black, but, um, Yeah. So I'm going to Now, only grow a couple out. of them said don't cut it before KetoCon. Most of them said that you need to just grow it out. Yeah, I'm going to try. I only saw one or two people say leave it for now and then cut it. You We're guys are it. going to laugh hysterically at how long it takes any, like, movement to happen in my hair. I mean, it goes from, like, super mega ultra short to, like, this length pretty quickly. But then, like, watch. Now it's going to be a snail's pace. You're going to be looking at this crazy hairstyle for like months and months to come because it grows very 
like very slowly. Bambi also wrote, rolling on the floor, laughing out loud. I always love watching you guys and crack up doing so, but today was totally hilarious. Aw. I was really missing family and friends and that have passed, but you lifted my day. Thank you for being the amazing people you are. Oh my goodness, well, Bambi. You. We love you so much and thank you for letting us be a part of your day. You are precious. Uh, D Daz wrote, Hi, D -Daz. Rachel, your hair is super cute the way it is now, but whenever you decide, I'm sure it's going to look great. Aw. Thank you for your encouragement. Um, oh, here's another one on the hair. Hope M wrote, I, I always hope. have the same dilemma with hair and leave it too long to please my husband. Wow. Can't wait to see what you do with yours. You guys be safe and have a great time at KetoCon. There, thank you so much for your well wishes. Yeah, the, it's, it's hard trying to like dazzle you. I think most husbands are like, you know, grow it out long. I, I, I'm never gonna look like an herbal essence commercial. Like, you know, you're never gonna be able to do this. My, my hair is just, is not built like that. So yeah, I think that's what you're kind of expecting, but you love me the way I am. I do. And yeah, that's never gonna happen. So Stephen Blake wrote. Isn't that Keto Steve? Yes, that's I Keto Steve. I love your channel, sir. Yep, he said, I had to Google what butt shorts were. Gotta say, I got some really weird results. I bet you I can't did. imagine what you got. There is a lot of things, even doing research papers with the kids, that like I've Googled something and been like, whoa, that was a huge mistake. So the butt shorts she's talking about, like I bought a pair of biking shorts and they have like gel padding in them. Some nice cute cushion. So Sylvia wrote. Hi Sylvia. OMG Rachel, my left armpit is doing dirty keto. It is. And there is something funny about my boob. I cannot decide which one of those was more hilarious. OMG, I'm still laughing. Another great slogan to put on a t-shirt. I love you Sylvia. Like every single day you always send something so encouraging and uplifting and I just, I love you. Life is Cynthia wrote. Hi, Life is Cynthia. I want that Krapow. I totally forgot to go back to their booth. Oh my goodness, we got to meet Cynthia. I yes. actually have a picture with Cynthia. Can we share it? Yeah, we'll put it up right now. And she was so beautiful and I just felt so blessed to get to meet her in person. So Cynthia, it was nice getting to see you. Yeah, that Krapow was dangerous. I actually had to stay away Krapow. from Benny's booth because like every time I walked past his booth, like I was grabbing a cup of the Krapow. The problem was it was directly across from Alterna Suites. Yes. So it's like you had to go over there because you want barbecue. I and want the Alterna both. Suites was amazing. So I'd get Alterna Suites, Krapow. Alterna Suites, Krapow. I must have had both of them like four or five times a day. It was a perfect blend because they're like, how are you gonna really enjoy like what our barbecue sauce tastes like if we don't have pulled pork to mix it with? That's right. Oh my god. But Cindy, I got new good news for you. Like I said, Benny did give us three different bags for a giveaway. So make sure you Such enter to guys. win when make we sure have that giveaway. Night. We're gonna put that up sometime this week. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Casey wrote, hilarious. Hi, Casey. It is so weird that our bodies constipate due to travel. Stupid body. Seriously. It is insane. When we got home. Everything let loose. Every man for himself. It was like. For we like were, three days. We were throwing elbows and the kids were like, I'm going to go live with Nanny for a while. Gail wrote. Hi, Gail. Uh, maybe take a couple spoonfuls of MCT powder for the non-bathroom issue. Probably, yeah. Oh my gosh, poor Rachel, TSA. At least you have a sense of humor about it. She didn't at the time. At the time, I just, I mean, I wasn't mean. I just was like, what's happening right now? I mean, there's nothing you can do. And I think my natural response to somebody being like threatening is like, I'm just going to up the accommodation. So I was like, can I offer you a baked good? Like, I don't know. Well, Do you want my a hug? solution is the next con that we go to. I, I hate that word con, right? The, the next keto convention that we go to. Did not want a hug from me. No. That was, I made it weird. Well. <laughs> I made it weird. The next keto convention we go to, telling you now, fair warning, we're driving. Road trip. Yeah. Who wants to go with us? Well, the next one I'm thinking we're going to go to because I don't think we're going to get to another one this year. I'd I love know. to, and I just don't think we're going to get to, but our our goal is next year, hit all the big ones. We The have... one in Connecticut, keto con, the KetoCon cruise, the low-carb cruise, and we are already planning on going to the one in Utah. I think it's in April next year. I am We will be super driving to excited. Utah. Are you ready to drive to Utah? I I think it's gonna be a little bit scary. We we need to bring some friends. I'm afraid of like what I will do in boredom. Yeah, but the thing is, is think about how much stuff we can bring back if we drive. Okay, now you've sold me. We are <laughs> renting a van though, because I want we can to do bring that. home we'll a rent lot the van. of stuff. It'd still be cheaper than flying and having to pay for the bags. Yes. 
Okay, so back to the comments. I am not seeing any Redmond Real Salt. I just we reminded me we were supposed to do the Redmond Real Salt giveaway. So let's do the giveaway. Yay. Okay, so we left the toothpaste at home. We ran up to the park. We're like, it's such that. a nice day out. Let's do it here. And I'm we forgot that sweaty. part. No, it's gorgeous out. It is windy, so I'm hoping Thankful the, the audio wind. is like coming through, through our little wind muff thing. But it's nice and breezy. Yeah. So let's uh, turn on the screen recorder is on. We'll open up our spreadsheet. You have Siri. We have 107 names. No way! That's yep. awesome! Okay, so, okay, ask Siri. 100, 107. Hey Siri, give me a random number between 1 and 107. It's 100. Number 100. Wow. 100 is Teal Elliott. Hi, Teal Elliott. Who actually Elliot. had two entries because we said that if you commented on more than one of the blogs, yes. you got to go in there. So it's Teal Elliott. Well, congratulations, Teal. This is exciting. Yep. So, Teal, here's what you have to do. You need to send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com mm -hmm. and uh, send us your mailing address and we will send it out and you have one week to send it to us. If we don't hear from you by um, the next keto on the couch, mm -hmm. then we're going to do it to give it to somebody else. Teal's got this. Teal's got it. I, I, if you didn't win. I have full faith in Teal. Yeah. If you didn't win, that's okay because Redmond is sending us some more stuff for a giveaway. And we're just going to like give stuff away. We're going to just keep it comes, giving away, which is why we're going. not doing our 2,000 subscriber giveaway because we have so many giveaways going on right now. P.S. Can we pause for a second? We have 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> Like, thank you guys so much. Like, we like are just feel so privileged that you even share your time and yeah. energy with us. Like, oh my gosh! Like, we love you guys so much, and we are so thankful for for you guys subscribing to our channel. Yes. Like that is amazing. None of this happens without you. Mama Cox wrote. Hi, Mama Cox. Love the intro, and thank you for all the updates at KetoCon. Oh, Rachel, you're beautiful. No makeup is needed. I love you, Mama Cox. You are awesome. Thank you. MJ Hawk wrote. Hi, MJ Hawk. I so agree. Rachel, you are fearfully and wonderfully made with and without makeup. Thank you, and so are you. Oh, my gosh. MJ Hawk, I love. Marley Graham wrote. Hi, Marley. Rachel, you're a girl that doesn't need, that you are not a girl that needs makeup. How precious you are these You look great with and without it. P.S. There's a place called Texas Honey Ham close to Hat Creek, that mm -hmm. burger place we went to. And they'll wrap your breakfast tacos in lettuce as a lettuce wrap. They're delicious. We really wanted to go there and wow. we didn't get a chance. That is awesome. Yeah, we saw that and we were like, we're going to go there. And then we didn't go. It says probably a little more delicious than your hotel's breakfast. We didn't really eat breakfast. I we mean, we did, did the one day. We did our, the hamburger because we had a That was the hamburger. last day because we had two hamburgers left over. And we ain't letting those go to waste. No. They were delicious. Lori Hernandez wrote, Hi, Lori. Looks like you guys had so much fun enjoying every minute. Well, uh, we are the same way about our pool. First two weeks after we open it for the summer, we are in it, and then we don't bother to go in the rest of the summer. I feel like I this is the summer to break that. We say that every year. <sighs> I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. We're going in the pool. Like like let's. We may have a keto on the couch from the pool. Let's go home and get in the pool. Lindsay wrote, "Beautiful Lindsay, I love the intact snack cheese. I'm excited about the new flavors. I absolutely love these videos of the conference. I'm so glad you are enjoying y'all's time. Aw, thank you for going they with were us. Really cool, the people from Intact. Like again, like because we were so like used to the really salty ones. We're like something's wrong with these. They need salt. We were just legit ignorant right. of what the process was. And so yeah, he gave us some. We're gonna be doing a giveaway for them too, or they're gonna be in some kind of giveaway. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna give away just them because we don't have a lot of them, but we're thinking about some kind of a box, maybe like a little bit later on with a bunch of different stuff. And thank you guys for having grace with us as our like opinions and like it changed with knowledge that we gain. You yeah. know, when you know better, you do better. That's right. And that's our our, our job, I feel like, and it is to get more educated on things. And if we're butts, we will call ourselves out, right? Like, Rachel, you were a butt today, and we will do that, and we have no problem doing that. That's right. Nicole wrote, Hi, Nicole. I totally feel Rachel in the mosquito thing. Ugh. They totally just love me. And like with Joe, my wife can walk through a swarm of them and barely get bit, or sometimes not bit at all. But I get a million bites. It drives me nuts. 
Oh, and I also feel you on the heat. I'm up in Atlanta, so it's probably not as bad as Florida, but it's still a humid mess. It is. I mess. bet Austin feels better than here, too. Seriously. Like, I don't know why mosquitoes decide, like, you're my person, and then, like, the other person that's, you've got plenty of blood to enjoy if you're a mosquito, and they have no interest in him. So, Nicole... Me and you, babe. We obviously cannot go any place, though. We would be killed <laughs> by mosquitoes. Uh, last one. Mama Cox wrote, Mama Cox. I looked it up a few weeks back, and some people have a certain chemical in their bodies that attract mosquitoes, and they attract to people with blood type O more than blood type A and B. Mosquitoes wow. also love my daughter and myself, although since on keto, they don't love me as much. Huh. Thank God, in Louisiana, they're horrible. Oh my gracious, I can't yeah. imagine, I mean, as bad as Florida is with bugs, I can't imagine what it's like in Louisiana. Well, that is interesting. So like, okay, so maybe that's just it. Like me and Nicole, and you, Mama Cox, and your daughter, like we're just more predisposed to, to I'm, have it. I'm just looking, it's a good thing that was the <gasps> last one. Oh my god! I'm gonna try this, I don't know if it's gonna work, but guys, We've gotten, as we've been sitting here, oh, surrounded so by iguanas. Surrounded. We're surrounded. Oh my gosh, on all sides. They're all around. I don't know if the, if the camera's going to pick it up, but we're surrounded. They're all over us right now. There are also some. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Holy look at this one. Mackerel. Look at that guy. There are also some shifty ducks that are joining the like iguana pack. Oh my gosh, I'm riding your shoulders out of this park. I'll carry you, baby. Oh, oh my it gosh. It is pretty bad. We are getting surrounded more and more. I think we better wrap this one up. Leave the camera we get equipment. Attacked. Screw the camera. <laughs> Well, guys, that is this week's Keto on the Couch. If you have any questions or comments, do us a favor. Leave them down below, and we will answer them in next week's Keto oh on the Couch. Oh, my gosh. Will there be a Keto on the Couch? Like, we were going to be dead. If you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm supposed to say, like, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon. But holy crap, I'm, I'm going to pee. I'm seriously going to pee. Okay, until next time. Bye, guys. Oh.